Football back again with some sad, tragic news. Rangers, Dundee, postponed. And as you see, the rain ain't that bad, even though I'm not in Dundee and that's kind of irrelevant. But it's just a joke, man. I'm feeling rough, by the way. Have you seen my video on my channel earlier? You've probably seen a rough there, but I thought, take the dog. A walk. Live the dream. The American dream. Uh, the, my, why am I coasting? Co coasting? Sorry, bear with us, man. I'm absolutely hanging for last night. Can't remember how much vodka I had. One sip of Fimpto this morning. Bang, bang, good night. Fimpto, your guts on out here, Jabroni. But, uh, aye. That was mince, to say the least. But it's just a bit of a joke, isn't it? Because earlier in my channel, I mean, I pretty much just gave an instant reaction to it and I was not long. Well, I was long up, but when you're spending pretty much three hours in the, in the bathroom over the toilet, you know, it doesn't matter if you've been up 10 minutes a second or you're doing it for 14 hours, man, you're going to be humped either way. But in terms of what this does for the league, you know, it means Celtic on St. Patrick's Day stay top of the league. Where are you going? There's been some comments already in my video saying, oh, is there, is there some foul play here? What, what's going on? It was, was, this manu was this manufactured, this delay? See, at the end of the day, right, the pitch was awful. Um, I think they should have did steps to prevent this. I mean, it always... I mean, it's, I'm not saying every game, right, that gets postponed is always Dundee, but, like, it's, it just seems to be, like, they're always one of those clubs. It's like frozen pitches. Is what, you can deal with frozen pitches, man. Get the snow off. Um, it's just... I mean, it's a top-flight league. Like, you know, we, we made a fit the other day defend. It's not... I mean, and this doesn't change the fact that... I mean, that's... Just because Dundee's pitch was waterlogged doesn't automatically make the league a pub league. But it's things like this, man, that, that, that should have the proper preparation. I don't want to hear excuses, though, about... Oh, well, we don't have... Dundee don't have the money. Fuck that, man. If Dundee don't have the money to prepare a waterlogged pitch, I don't know what, what, what they're doing. All right? I, I don't know. I actually do not know what they're doing if they can't prepare for a potential water waterlogged pitch. We, we all knew that weather, the weather's been shite. When was the last time it didn't rain in a day? No, apparently the rest of the day in Dundee's going to be all right. So, begs the question. Yeah, the question? Beg, does beg the question, to be exact. But, I mean, looking forward to this Sunday game. Fog football, man. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk about it. And uh, this, this is what we get. Absolutely hee-haw for our troubles. I mean, Chris Sutton commented on it. Kind of said it's a joke. Yeah, we'll probably make a separate video on that. But it is a joke. You know, I agree with Chris, Chris Sutton, man. It, it is. It's an absolute... It is an absolute joke. I just don't understand why that things like this happen in this day and age, man. Like, I get that there can be, you know, freak weather occurrences where there is, like, so much snow. And I get it. I mean, if, it, if it's... But even the... Ah, it, you just do not see this happening in top league. I mean, I remember... It was back in December, like, Germany got that really bad snowstorm. I think most of Europe did. And it's like, you've seen outside Bayern Munich, man. They're dealing with, like, 15, 20 inches of snow outside the Allianz. I mean, to me, that's acceptable to not be able to get that going. But for this, a bit, a bit of water, a bit of water. It's a joke. Now, the only thing I would say from a Rangers perspective, yes, it's shite. Yes, we now go two weeks not top of the table and we can't respond. But we get more of our better players back, um, of course, because we're we got thin. Of course, also means we don't have to play on the pitch. We don't really know what the conditions are going to be like when the pencilless game back in, but... I mean, you look at the conditions today, that definitely makes it a bit more even than it was, you know, pristine playing conditions. Um, so, end of the day, Don Robertson, I mean, walking it like at 20, 20 past, and then what, declaring it unplayable at half past 10? I mean, that's just no good enough. The response time's just no good enough there, man. You can't spin that. Well, I mean, what way can you honestly spin that for Don Robertson? Like, well, well, no, what is he doing? We, we need to know what the Don is doing with Tony Soprano. Settle for fucking that, man. I mean, maybe he'd probably like the rain because it would add a bit more to his swimming pool and he could jump in with his ducks or something. But for us, pff, Don Robertson, man, the guy's a fud. Like, I mean, there's probably people, I mean, like, people travel a long way and even, you know, Glasgow to Dundee's a decent distance, early kickoff. And, I mean, everyone who was going to that game would have already been there, most likely. An hour and a half prior to kickoff in the room, Dundee. Just to be let down by the SFA and the rest of the job squad.